Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in Attila Total War. Here is our current situation. We are playing the Burgundians, obviously. My name is Ben Pope, by the way. My name is Ben Pope. Didn't say that, but there I am. Uh, and we have a few friendly neighbors and a few allies. And we also have some people we can fight. So from the list of who we can fight, there they are. Uh, closest, probably the Caledonians, uh, Roman Empires. Uh, these guys are far away. And then um, we have two puppet states, the Geats and the Utes. These guys won't trade with me yet. I, I tried uh, a second ago. Uh, these guys are military alliance. So we're set with them. You might be able to convince them later to join our empire. We'll see. Uh, the Franks, we have non-aggression pact. And I'm going to try to get a defensive alliance with them. Uh, it's like they're going to reject that. And maybe if we give them some uh, payments... Or maybe dec declare war on somebody. Let's see. Let's give him some payments. Uh, that's just too many payments, and it doesn't doesn't seem like it's changing their uh, mind. So let's see. The Saxons. Will the Saxons do it? That that is not uh, defensive alliance. Like oh. Okay. Who else? The Luyans might. You honor us. There is food enough for two armies awaiting. No. Alright, so whatever, that's not gonna happen. Um, we can indeed. Uh, I don't have my drawing utensils. Uh, we can possibly today grab a uh, a new land here, probably the, the Sontio uh, region with the money we have, and we'll figure out which way we can expand beyond that. The Belgica is up for grabs so that would be a good spot to go into and of course we can always um, try to make friends with people like the Saxons or the friend uh, I mean we're, we're kind of friendly with them anyway but we can try to um, oops pressing all sorts of buttons try to um, make them even closer friends okay so we solved Food shortage problems. That's good. We negotiated negotiated peace with Britain because they kept they keep um, um, declaring war and then changing their mind. This governor. Hmm. Could probably do something like the carrier pigeons. That sounds like fun. And uh, in not from embezzlement. Tax rate and research, maybe. Well, from industrial. Uh, I think chief of overseer is good. Alright, and let's give him um, more food since we seem to be having an issues with food. An issue, not an issues. Thank you for tuning in, by the way. It's um, not something that anyone is forcing you to do but it's helping and hopefully I can keep this going and um, have some entertainment at the core of it um, problem is having to wait for all these guys to do their turns so I can get going with my own turn Yer. I should have enough money to uh, colonize Right as I start my turn, um, when it's coming up right now. Yeah. I hope you guys are watching my uh, Napoleon Total War mod. Trouble, even the gods. I beg um. you, march against them before it's too late. I know, dude. I know. How about I counter offer you? You want to give me your your money? How about? Let's see. Um, more allies. Yeah, I think I can maybe demand some more money than they asked. Uh, how about that? Our Military access. Will trouble neither man nor beast in your lands. Your women. Okay, whatever. I cannot promise that. 
Whatever, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll have war with uh, the Huns. I feel like someone should take care of the Huns or else they would just desolate everything and then uh, you're just going around taking over desolate lands instead of fighting. So yeah, I was saying I uh, hopefully... Uh, governor. Hopefully you're watching my uh, The Great War campaign when I'm playing as Romania in um, Total War, Napoleon. Uh, let's see, what do I need to go to there? Okay. Lisontio! Let's get ya. Should cost 8,800 and we lose some people. But colonize this place. Um, and we should be able to. No, we can't. <laughs> I want to build the burg. Build the burg. Build, build the burg. Okay. Octodurum is controlled by Gaul. It's over there. I think we're okay with them. Let me check. Apparently they're not so okay with me. I cannot trade with them or anything. So, um, do not waste time on pleasantries and babble. Speak what you must and be done. We're gonna pretend like we care and offer them some money, and they'll be like, "No, you won't have none aggression." And then we'll be like, okay, dude, that's fine. That's the only town you have. Um, you don't even have walls around it. So maybe we can take you out soon. Hmm? How about that? How about the, how about, how about it? Okay, our other army can move to this, this people's land, I believe. Although we don't really need to move there. Where are you going? Uh, you are going... Are you going here? I think so. I'm gonna support army. I, I was doing something with that guy. Um, right. I don't think we will move into their land. Uh, we will probably stay put. Uh, just to make sure that no Huns are going to attack us before we go down and see where they're at. Because they're down there somewhere. Uh, but they're quite far away. They're in Pannonia. So. That is that. How about we look at um, these guys. They're still unhappy. Why won't you guys just trade with us? Let's give them a whole bunch of money. It will help us in the long run, I believe. No? Alright. How are you doing over here? We can still build something, but we need population surplus. Galicia. Galicia. End our turn. Okay, so we do have Visontio that will give us extra income one once it's built. It's uh, still a rebel waiting for its stones to be un unturned and you know re replace it one on top of the other to create some marvelous buildings. And that's our goal. That's our plan. We're sticking to it. Um, war with the Huns is inevitable, it will happen whether you like it or not, so I figured that since I was offered some money, um, I can protect my fellow friends from uh, the south, my neighbors, why not? Let's see, who's gonna take up our time? Nobody! Noble worth. Oh, we forgot. Okay, so family members were blessed with a daughter. Uh, there is likely people to put in office. Let's see, you all have an office spot. You are a governor, but 
don't have enough. Oh, you do have enough. What? Why are you not in office? Hmm. <laughs> Find you a wife. Okay. Uh, next. You're the leader. You're over there. There's somebody that that expired. So to say, you. All right. Go ahead and be an elder, sir. Uh, you're there. You're not yet able because of influence. Um, governors, I have plenty. Okay, let's look at technology. Uh, we sh don't have enough money. We'll probably save our money to to get these burial sites, storage pits. Um, actually, we're not gonna use the storage pit, but you know, the canals, sacred forest, some kind of altar. Um, we need all of those, and we also need some of these. So, let's figure out which one we want. Most likely, I could go with the trading tools and customs, royal household. Meh. I don't know. Either one. We'll um, save up our money and get get something nice once we have ten thousand. Get one of those that we need. Uh, except for we can't save up our money because we have to build up Visontio. So uh, let's build up, build a burg. Build a burg. It's gonna take four turns. Um, I wonder which way I could go. Lugians have that. Venidians have this. I I will need some kind of. some kind of military access with more people than just the Thurigians and at the moment I don't have it um yeah We're losing public order so we can definitely get Let's get a pike unit. That's cheap. It might help us with public order. Okay. Uh, let's end the turn and keep going. Oh, uh, looks like a hero. Vulfiram has unfortunate parentage, but he does have some skills to spare. So, um, I thought we were going to give him a uh, trap or maybe call to arms yeah I think I think we'll do this we'll do call to arms and we'll do um, okay, sabotage all of these are good all of them are good okay so upkeep and yeah, let's do it. And fatigue. Only for Cav, but you know what? That's okay. We can probably get the same thing for other units. It really... I mean, it matters how you... How you um, get them specced, but it doesn't matter that much because you'll get some bonuses either way you go. So... No reason to really beat yourself up over it. I think with um, with agents, you can really go elite into a certain uh, criteria, or um, go like a jack of all trades and then uh, be more defensive because you won't be as vulnerable against other agents from other nations. Um, but yeah. There's no wrong way, at least I don't think there is. <coughs> uh, 
All right, the Eastern Romans are doing something. And we're just dying to find out what, what it is. Looks like everybody else is going to scroll through fairly quick. And we're almost done with the waiting. At any point you are watching and you're enjoying this episode, please do hit the like button. You can comment. Uh, we're going to take her hand. Yes. Um, office secured. You can comment in the comment section. And you can also um, share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it as well. Looks like the Saxons are beating up Gaul. And... Um, they have iron there, so if they don't take it, maybe I can. Maybe I can go take it. But, I don't know. The raging boars look pretty mean. And they probably want a, a spot to rest for the winter. They might go ahead and take it. Uh, Verona's desolate. That's Fiorentina. Roma seems to be okay. Is that... They won't tell me. Okay. Um, what now? 4,000 coins to spare. We can upgrade the village to the town. We don't really want more squalor. If we convert this, we're probably going to lose sanitation. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, why is winter gotta be here? Why isn't why does it have to have problems and give us winter? Um, this would give us more food from animals, more wealth, and upkeep would be better. How how are we doing? As a nice man sings his song, how are we doing over here? Can we? Can't. Once this is built, then we can change that. Has public order gotten better? No. It has not. <sighs> Alright. Well, I think I want to keep building my armies, but I don't at the same time, because that's nice cash, or decent cash that's coming in, and we could use that cash to upgrade certain things. I forgot about the hero that should have gone inside that army. There's some Caledonians moving around. So even if nothing else happens in this episode, we have um, gained a new territory. We are also at war with the Huns. Uh, it's likely that other things will happen. We are just going to wait and see. Wait and see. There's still some time. Still some precious time. Ooh. Is that... I forgot what nation that is. It's, is it Hispania? Everybody wants Carthage. Carthago. Britain is uh, attacking the Utes. So we are again going to have to fight the Britons. So we're going to end... Uh, oh. End their peace with the Britons and enter war on the side of the Allies. I told you that the Britons are very uh, undecided. They're not sure what they want to do. They're like, oh, I, just, I, I want war, but I don't want war. Maybe I'll have war. Um, so I'll tell you what. We're going to we're gonna send an army up. We're going to send this army up. We're going to upgrade these guys. Uh, spend more per turn quite a bit more and we're gonna send them up 
to help against the Britons. And um, in fact, I think... How much more winter do we have? November... Mm, golly. Okay, let's do this. Let's just... Let's just wait until winter is over. And uh, we'll sit in this town. We took some attrition there, but I will come back. Sorry, guys. I mean, you know, we could have avoided that, but I felt like, hey, uh, the weak shall be trimmed out of our forces since we're going on a rampage in Britain. One, f one army up in Britain might not be enough. Uh, this force I have to keep down here. Naturally. Looks like the Saxons took Octodurum. Sad for me. And, um... <clears throat> I might as well try to stay friendly with them. Because they have quite a bit of land. I think they're, um... Where are you? Franks. Saxons. There you are. Well, they have six regions. I think I have more than six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah. I've got eight. I play I'm ranked third. Um Do we know who Eastern Romans are first? Probably the Sassanid are second. Uh the Western Romans are eleventh. And that was Spania. Spain Spania. Spain, Spain, jeez. All right, uh, it was somebody important apparently because I couldn't pronounce them. Uh, Gaul is not dead. They have Augusta Vindelicorum. I'm not even sure where that is. Is that somewhere? Somewhere in Germany. Okay, let's uh, do another turn's end, and um, we, we won't have, we, will, we barely have, we're almost there with enough money to to get something cool. So the Caledonians are moving in with some armies, I think my land is safe, so I should be okay with moving against them, whether I move against them... Um, in mainland Europe or up on the islands on the British Isles. Either way, um, might have the upper hand. I feel like I would do okay even in winter out there, but at the same time, I don't want to take the attrition in um, in the time that I travel. So, what do you know? What do you know? I always have to wait for winter. Oh man, there's a lot going on down there. Look at that. That's just messy. The Geats are there. I don't know who that other nation is. I should know the... Um, you know, all the icons, but I don't. And they're not that easy to tell apart sometimes. Okay. What's going on? Duty calls. Ooh. Um... So somebody died. Wolfhard died of natural causes. Uh, we can get a fighter. Uh, we can get a dignitary. We can get a fearless warrior. That's going to have zeal. He moves for no man. The fighter has experience for melee recruits. Uh, yeah, let's go for the fearless warrior. Amand. Although Hildefond sounds pretty impressive in in his own right. Um, we're going to go for this guy. Okay, so uh, that was an admiral. Okay. I didn't even know that, that that was an admiral that passed away. Okay, so that's set. Um, somebody was born. It was a noble birth, so that's good. Um, defamation. And... 
unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumors about a member of your family, give the orders and they will be silenced. You know, I think I think I have plenty of influence to kind of pay him off and be like, dude, um, yeah. So, uh, somebody gained a trait. Um, did you drain? Did you? Okay, you did. Okay. You have a skill to dish out as well. So why don't we give you some ammo and some inventory commander? That's always good. I won't upgrade these hurlers because it's 84 versus 296. Quite a bit. Quite a difference. This person is devoted, so his loyalty went up. That's good. Alright. Um, the howling waves are probably not needed down here anymore. So we're going to take them. Um, I'm going to do that again because I meant to just not... I'm going to take them in double time, which doesn't improve their uh, movement as much. But we're going to take them up here and see if we can intercept some uh, of the Caledonians and the British forces. Um, it's still winter. I think if we go out there, we'll take some attrition. Do we build? We did not build yet. We have one more turn. Our food is going bad, or it's uh, being challenged <laughs> uh, because of the, I, th I think really from, from the winter. Uh, what is winter? Food minus plus two. Plus minus two? Is that like cancelled itself out? Constructing the... <coughs> Excuse me. The agricultural building is cheaper now, so I could definitely upgrade some of these livestock pens or something. Uh, but I don't think I really need to. It's gonna mess up the public order. Uh, this why this one might be nice. I can get crossbow pens out of it. Um. 2200 if I build this I won't have enough money next turn for that uh, blah you know what I mean technology this one this is what I want this will give me ammunition and missile range which is nice but I think I'm kind of I'm kind of undecided, actually. I kind of want better ammunition and missile range. Yeah, and then get this one. We'll see. I'll think about it. I think that's. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Uh, and we're waiting for winter to be over with. So, um, I think. I think. I'm just not sure, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, just so when we can start, when we come back, we'll have uh, a turn of introductory and we'll get that technology going. And winter should be over with uh, January or February. And then we can get going. So that, will, that whole, f you know, moving north to take on the Caledonians and, and the Britons will happen next time. Once we come back from the turn's end... And we'll just do the turns end and I'll say uh, thank you for tuning in. It's been real. It's been fun. I had fun uh, recording this and hopefully you guys had fun watching. And I'll hopefully, I'll hopefully see you next time. Please do comment down below. Let me know what you think. It helps out any comment. Every comment helps out uh, getting more action, more interactivity. More interaction, that's the word. More interaction on the video. And it makes the video more popular in the search, uh, in the YouTube search. So that's really the main reason why I'm saying, hey, please comment with something. Uh, also share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. Or if you think they would, you know, make fun of me. Um, either way uh, works for me. Um, uh, 
still appreciate the extra views and um, that's about it once this turn end is over we're gonna call it a day let's see what's happening or anything else anything else that looks like that looks like it's ab about does it oh no Britain's gonna move they're gonna move their stuff Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.